This lesson shows how to graph the absolute value function by transformations. The graph of the absolute value function is a V-shaped figure opening upward. The base of the V is called the vertex. The lines on either side of the vertex are the legs. The right leg has a slope equal to 1. The left leg has slope equal to negative 1. In the last lesson, you explored and worked to understand the transformations of the absolute value function. In this lesson, we present the rules and give you a chance to practice your graphing skills. One type of transformation is a translation. If you replace x in the function with x plus or minus a constant, the graph translates right or left. For example, if you replace x with x minus 2, the graph translates two units to the right. The vertex is now at plus 2 on the x-axis. Be careful. It's natural to think that x minus 2 would shift the graph to the left since left is the negative direction on the x-axis, but the opposite is true. If you replace x in the function with x plus 1, the graph translates one unit to the left. The vertex is now at negative 1 on the x-axis. If you add or subtract a constant to the function, the graph translates up or down. For example, if you add 1 to the function, the graph translates 1 unit up. The vertex is now at plus 1 on the y-axis. If you subtract 2 from the function, the graph translates 2 units down. The vertex is now at negative 2 on the y-axis. If you multiply the function by negative 1, the graph is reflected vertically and opens down. If you multiply the function by a constant, the function stretches or shrinks in the vertical direction. This is called a dilation. For example, if you multiply the function by a number greater than 1, like 2, the graph stretches vertically. The legs are steeper with a slope equal to plus or minus 2. If you multiply the function by a fraction like 1 half, the graph shrinks vertically. The legs are flatter, with a slope equal to plus or minus 1 half. You can use combinations of transformations to create complex variations of the parent function. This function is reflected vertically shifted two units left, and shifted one unit up. This function shifts two units right, one unit up, and then shrinks by a factor of one half. This lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.